Yo, what's up guys, it's the Gooblinator, and today what I have for you guys is a very good gameplay with a gun that I haven't really uploaded much on my channel, it's the ASM1 Strider, so basically what I have here is a double DNA bomb, so make sure to pop out a like for that man, back in the day, I used to always upload double DNA bombs, great gameplays, I think I have maybe, I don't know, maybe, I honestly don't know how many double DNA bombs I have, probably about 6 or 7, uh, maybe like 5, I don't know, anyway, this gameplay is pretty good with the ASM1 Strider, I show you guys the whole first DNA bomb, and then the second DNA bomb, these kids, I don't know what was wrong with them. I think they had a pine cone up their ass or something. They kept leaving the gameplay. So I had to um, cut it to just show you guys a minute and a half of the second DNA bomb. Anyway, double DNA bomb, ASM1 Strider, and that's really what I'm going to talk about. I was going absolutely ham in this gameplay. I was running every single stop sign. So let's get right into this commentary. So basically, the ASM1 Strider is a good gun, but it is nowhere near the speakeasy. Or there's this, this gun is basically... It depends on the person using it. So what you get with the ASM1 Strider is you do get plus one damage. However, you really do get minus in the accuracy. I believe it's minus two on the accuracy, which really does make it hard. You definitely need to run. The attachments that I would like to run on this are the extended mags, just so I have a lot of ammo in my clip. Because when you're spraying, when your accuracy is down low, you might miss a couple of bullets. And uh, that's why you really want to have the extended mags the other one i throw on is the grip and then of course the advanced rifling those are basically the ones the standard perks that you run on an smg but this gameplay i actually go really beast in the first round it's like I, they let me straight out of the aquarium on this gameplay going ham on solar but the asm was strider let's talk about when it's a good gun to use in different situations. So this gun would definitely be good on a map like Biolab where you really don't need to have the best accuracy and it's more about the damage. You know, at close range, this thing, this thing will absolutely melt with the plus one damage. The ASM1 Speakeasy actually has minus one on the damage. However, it does have an increased fire rate. So I tested this gun out. I said, well, this gun has a plus one damage. What if I try it out with uh, the increased fire rate that the rapid fire attachment gives you? And it is absolutely crazy. I put rapid fire on this thing and I put the grip on it and you, the recoil was out of this world. I do not recommend it at all. I thought it was going to be beast, but the recoil just was really out of this world. And this gun kicks a lot, even with the grip, even with anything. So tips for using this gun is I would suggest you want to keep your engagements close range like I'm doing in this gameplay. I was actually very surprised I got a double DNA with it. I kept all my engagements close range and I was able to, you know, the hip fire and close range engagements, you're going to win those. But when you're shooting at medium range, a good tip for your accuracy with this gun, because in Call of Duty, the guns don't have a lot of recoil. Let's face it. The guns really don't have a lot of recoil. So with the gun that actually does have a little bit of recoil, you want to aim sort of for around their dick area. And then if you aim for the dick, when you recoil, it'll go up to the mid chest and you'll get easy kills. So right here I get uh, the first DNA bomb, which was in the first round. And then when I got it, I was like, you know... Should I go for the double? And I was like, screw it. You know what? It's been a while since I've gone for a really good gameplay. You know, usually when I play COD, I don't really worry about the gameplays. I sort of just play and have fun. And usually the games where you have the most fun are the games that are going to be the best games for YouTube. Because if you, if I had fun playing the game, you guys are going to have fun watching it. And that's basically what I did here. And I was able to get the double DNA bomb, I think, right at the end of this game. I was kind of stressing for it because I knew people were leaving. I knew I'm on a 25 right here with a minute left. I had to run around uh, frantically from A to C, A to C. And we were also triple capping. But I was able to get the double DNA bomb. So my question for you guys in the comment section below is how many DNA bombs do you have or how many double DNA bombs do you have if you guys do know that I want to know I'm sure some of you guys in the comments are really beast players some of you guys probably got triple DNA bombs quadruples pentas hexas septa oct oct octagon octa dna bomb i'm sure you guys have that anyway hope you guys did enjoy this a quick little double dna with the asm1 strider basically if you want to use the strider aim for the dick area and keep your engagements close range other than that if you guys want my opinion is the speakeasy better yes the speakeasy is probably the best smg in the game uh, by far and it really will outshine this gun in most or pretty much all situations but if you, you do have this variant and you don't have the speakeasy, I definitely recommend using this variant. Just make sure you can control your accuracy with it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like on it. Let's go for 2,000 likes. That would be awesome if you guys could hit that. And as always, subscribe for a cookie. And don't looky. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.